Good afternoon. Uh, today I am going to read 2 Corinthians chapter 12 regards to Paul's visions of his thorn and um, how he pleaded with God so many times to actually um, to take away this thorn that he had in his body that Satan has put on him. And I'm going to read it to you right now. So I'm in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, uh, verse 6. Through, if I should wish to boast, I would not be a fool, for I would be speaking the truth, but refrain from it, so that no one may think more of me than I, he sees in me or hears from me, so to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surp surpassing greatness of the revelations. A thorn was given, given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with, with the Lord about this, that he, it should leave me, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may, may rest upon me for the sake of Christ. Then. I am content with weakness, insults, hardship, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The reasons why he was saying all that stuff is that his thorn was given to him by the messenger of Satan because he was referring to the churches in Corinth that other people were disguised as Christians, but they're actually attacking the Christians, saying, oh, you must be um, um, circumcised, or, or, oh, that's not how you pray. This is how you pray. Um, you know, you cannot be eating anything anymore. You have to go by the law. So all that thorns, he was, gave, he was given to him, but in the end, the Lord has given him sufficient grace so he could actually to be boast on his weakness and to be stronger because he with the grace he had from God the more power he had because of his weakness so he was very he was very content after that because God has spoken to him and told him about it. Jesus told him, my grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So if you ever feel weak, pray to God, pray to Jesus Christ. He's going to give you strength and he's going to be there for you. If you're a true believer in Jesus Christ and the book that we call the Bible, we should be strong, not on ourselves, but with Jesus Christ. We have to be to order to be strong. It's not about how much we make or how many cars do we have. Or how many homes that we, we own or possessed. The only thing we need to get involved is, is in Jesus Christ. Is in God. Our mighty God. That one day he will destroy everything. Everything. Sinners alike. Who does not bend the knee. To our Lord and Savior. That I do guarantee it's in scripture. So please, I beg you, 
read your Bible, pray to Jesus, bend the knee, because he will come. And the question I'm giving to you is, are you ready? Let the Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and mercy and give your love to your enemies and pray to other people. They will listen. Amen.